Then we got this quickly news to, 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 to update on. Andrew Tate. The Tate brothers in custody in Romania extended by another month. Yo, Romania is just not going to let them go, in it, Right? They're never going to let them go, are they? It kind of reminds me a little bit, again, Nick Rugger's story here. But when I went there um, for the first time to see my friend to do a bit of traveling and whatnot, um, I I got off the plane after, again, it's a long trip. So I had to change four times, I think. I think I flew to London, to Toronto, then to Toronto, to like Dallas or something, then Dallas to Atlanta, and then Atlanta to Nicaragua. It was a crazy flight. And it's the only one I could get because it was really cheap at that time. So the only one I could afford to kind of go there. Um, so I went there, crazy long flight, first time kind of traveling that kind of distance, really tired and, you know, kind of just want to, you know, go, you know, how everyone is when you get off the plane. Get off the plane, go through and get immigration. And I'm the only one that gets pulled aside, of course. I get pulled aside immigration. And as I'm getting pulled aside, I see um I can see my friends outside the window with signs waiting for me and stuff, right? And obviously they see me and they're like, ooh, because I get taken away by like, you know, Nicaraguan police and they're like in like I think like green uniform with little cadet hats on and shit. And they put me in a room. They put me in the room and they just sit me in the room for like what felt like hours. It might have been like two hours, but it felt like more than two hours. And they kept coming in periodically, checking, checking, looking at my passport, asking me for things in Spanish and stuff that I could understand here and there. Because at that time I was practicing my Spanish a little bit more. And it just kept, just just sat me in this room for two two hours, it felt like, or maybe more. Kept popping in and out. And then it got to a point where I was thinking to myself, hold on, I'm in Nicaragua, isn't it? Like, maybe they're just trying to like sweat me for money. I don't know why it came in my head. Again, I go off the plane. I have no communication with nobody. I didn't research anything about it. But something just popped in my head like, Ag, I think they're trying to sweat you. So I thought, hold on. So I checked my wallet. And luckily, luckily, when I got off the plane, when I got, when I get, when I guess when I was transferring somewhere, I kind of, um, I converted some, 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 some pounds into dollars. And obviously, you know, they accepted Nicaraguan dollars and obviously um, American dollars as well. And at that time, you'd imagine American dollars had more. So I just took whatever I had in my wallet. And I think it might have been like a hundred dollars or something and just gave it to them. Like I just, I just knocked on the window and just said, look, I went through this. And the guy came in, took my money, gave me back my bag and my luggage and just opened the door. <laughs> I swear on everything that happened. I swear on my life. And I remember just leaving like, I was kind of offended, obviously, because I was only one from a plane that got taken off and got put in a room, right? There's that whole black card racial thing, justice, whoa, 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 right? That crying thing, um, the language barrier, just like I had, I had like, imagine, like that's like four trans, four flight transfers I had, right? Like Canada, America, like I was stinking, I was sweating. I was just like, there's so many confusing thoughts going through my head. But the main thing that I remember thinking was like, raw. I got out of this by paying the money. That's the, that's like a bribe, isn't it? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> so I'm thinking in this regard, right? Are the Romanian government just trying to sweat out the, the, the flipping tape brothers? Is that what they're doing? Are they trying to sweat them out? Are they trying to put them in a position where they forfeit all their assets and stuff? And then just, just you know what? we'll send you on your way. We'll send you back to the UK or wherever they're, I guess, um, registered or whatever it may be. Is that what's happening here? Because this seems so weird. No, no charges. And they just keep extending. It. <laughs> they just keep extending it. Like, what have they done? But, or they've really pissed off somebody high up. Because I don't think I'm thinking. They must have pissed off somebody high up or refused to pay some money or something. I don't know what's going on. Are people saying in the chat, Romania is trying to be accepted as legit? Okay, cool. So they don't want to. So I guess Romania are doing what Dubai are trying to do, because Dubai. If you read, if you again, I'm, I'm fascinated with the flipping with the with the underworld. By the way, I think you could tell from some of the books I have around here. I'm obsessed with fucking um, crime and shit. I don't want to take the kind of anyway. I got loads of books on like Escobar and like coke and stuff and all that sort of madness, right? So I'm obsessed with the underworld. So there's loads of good channels on YouTube that do this. And one U one YouTube channel, um, oh, I wish I could remember the name, but anyway, one YouTube channel was basically saying that um, Dubai is now cracking down on a lot of those guys from Europe who are going over to Dubai and basically turning it into their version of Miami, like the European Miami, and kind of going there to seek kind of refuge. So they're clamping down on a lot of the drug smugglers, brokers and whatnot, and trying to clean up their image so people don't look at Dubai as like a as like um 
as like a safe haven for drug dealers or for gang members and stuff, whatever it may be. So I might, I might, maybe that's what Romania are doing because, you know, Andrew Tate was so dumb and he was bragging about the fact that he could get away what he could get away with in flipping Romania. But this is pretty crazy. But let's read the news quickly here. It says, um, controversial influencer Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan will remain in custody in Romania for a fourth consecutive month with no charges. <laughs> The brothers have been detained since December after being busted by allegations, again, allegations of rape, people trafficking and forming an organized crime group. Both are denied any wrongdoing. Mr. Tate's lawyer says so he'll be held until the end of April. Holy shit. British investigators are also helping remain. Oh, okay. This probably makes sense then. They're collaborating with the British. I didn't know this. So clearly, they're not letting those guys go until they've got something, until they've got something solid and then they're going to book them and then it's over basically um british investigators are helping remain police with information from the uk side the brother's lawyer said the prosecutors had brought no new evidence to wednesday's hearing they also suggested the client's notoriety was contributing to the decision to keep them in custody uh matty petriscu that sounds like a very romanian name and i think there's a footballer's name that as well Petrescu, I think there's yeah, famous footballers named that as well. Maybe it's a fam- maybe it's a regular name in Romania. First woman um for the Tate said that for the first time the judge has asked the brothers to respond directly to prosecuting arguments and that they were fight the they, they were a flight risk and risk the public order. Um, despite what was described as dynamic exchange, the judge eventually ruled the two men should be kept in, in preventative custody for another 30 days until the end of April. Uh, Ms. Petrescu said the team was speechless at the court decision. She said the decision to, det- to detain them was irreparably harmed and the brother's image and it will, could take years to rebuild reputation. No, it won't. Come on, she's to relax, but you know, she's got to say it. she's a lawyer. Um, the lawyers acting for the Tates in the US um, recently contacted one of the alleged victims in the case, threatening to sue her and her family for 300 million for defamation unless she retracted her claims judge has consistently justified the decision to keep them in custody on the grounds that they might pressure witnesses or interfere with evidence uh, at previous hearings investigators are reportedly presented evidence from the phone calls recorded during the brother's detention god damn it man shit i wonder if this is a case of like fuck around and pl- was it fuck around and find out is this a case of fuck around and find out? Is this a, uh, is this um just corruption at its highest order? Are these guys really dodgy? That's the thing I really want to find out. Are they really as dodgy as people are trying to make it seem? Like are they actually, you know, undercover running a covert people smuggling organization, but then trying to make it seem like they're like motivational speakers? And they're like crypto fleet guys. Like I wonder what's going. That's what I'm really intrigued by. I really want to know that. I just want to know: Are they really the guys that they're trying to paint out, or is this just all one big misunderstanding? <laughs> you know, just because you've got a coach full of Ukrainian girls, you know, and Bosnian girls or stuff, or Russian girls r- pulling up to your mansion, and they all look like they're, you know, whatever. It doesn't mean you're people smuggling they could just be there to hang out right they could just be your friends <laughs> just because they're <laughs> oh man but crazy isn't it crazy so i guess you know i guess we're gonna see what's happening end of april but i'm i'm, I'm predicting they're probably gonna get extended until the end of may again so they're probably gonna be in there for another long 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 time so um yeah what can you do in it what can you do um oh people saying the thing i think they were dodgier before than the internet fame oh true andrew w i just saw what you're saying there that's a good point maybe they were into some weird shit before no some corrupt and dodgy stuff before some dark shit people smuggling all that because well, i think when you start to get into people smuggling people trafficking you know all that sort of stuff you're 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 like really in the darkness so if they're into that world but then on at the same time andrew tate was trying to pop off the whole like you know influencer type thing motivational speaker type guy coach life coach stuff then that pops off for him you still got this past you have to kind of like you know shake but it's hard to shake those things in real time once your your star sort of like going up um yeah people saying yeah no rush on the investigation easy yeah true so if they do think he, they did what they did because for sure there can't be no smoke without fire in it you can't be keeping people like this in in custody for this long if you don't have some some sliver of evidence so they probably got something they just need to build their case and obviously if they're collaborating with the british it's definitely they're trying to build it all up 
And um, yeah, man, it's just one of those cases, isn't it? I just, I just, for me personally, again, I, I, I didn't follow Andrew Tate. I don't know much about him, um, apart from the interviews that he had on different podcasts and stuff. But I wasn't, you know, I wasn't in the flipping Discord and shit. I don't really care that much. But I just want to know: is are they as dark as it are they as they're making it seem? That's what I want to know. Are they really dodgy to make it seem? And the documentary is gonna be glorious, glorious. You know, it's gonna be glorious.